Me Charge, the world's smallest and lightest 65 watt triple port charger for your laptop and smart devices. With two USB C ports, one USB A port, and support for the latest fast charging protocols, Charge is the single charger you'll ever need. Charge is palm sized, easily fits your jeans coin pocket, and the smallest corners in your briefcase, handbag, or backpack. Charge weighs less than a deck of cards, can of soda, pack of cigarettes, tub of peanut butter, newborn chihuahua, roll of tape, half a Big Mac, belt, orange, light bulb. So, um, you get the point. And for even more compactness, Charge features folding plug pins. Our secret sauce is called gallium nitride, a powerful new semiconductor material enabling smaller and more efficient charging. Charge fast charges any laptop, whether Apple or PC, at up to 65 watts. To put that into perspective, the latest 13-inch MacBook Pro ships with a 61-watt charger. The latest MacBook Air ships with a 45-watt charger. The latest 12.9-inch iPad Pro ships with an 18-watt charger. Used all three ports simultaneously to charge tablets, smartphones, smartwatches, power banks, or any USB device. Charge comes with a free 5-foot premium braided USB-C cable that contains an EMOC chip for full 65 wattage right out of the box. Whether for travel or everyday use, Charge, the single charger you'll ever need.
Introducing the Kusno Smart Coffee Table, a modern coffee table that elevates the traditional household furniture to new heights. This shining, futuristic and sleek coffee table serves as a refrigerator, Bluetooth sound system, party hub, wireless charging dock and is voice activated. Let's take it away! The Kusno Smart Coffee Table has storage drawers built into its slick design and is the perfect party companion with an automatic LED light lift-up lid that conceals a large refrigerator space for drinks, snacks and party treats. There are three ways to lift up the refrigerator, voice control, a physical button and smartphone app available on both Android and iOS. It also houses multiple Bluetooth speakers in a stereo array that can stream music from smartphones and other mobile devices. The glowing LED top can be programmed to synchronize the music for a glowing, pulsing strobe light effect for ambience. Finally, Kusno has wireless charging built in. Users can charge their phone by simply setting it down on the LED top. In addition to being a party-ready tool for homes or offices, Kusno also has the powerful Google Assistant built in. Using simple voice commands, users have access to virtually any information instantly. Enjoy Spotify or other streaming services, set calendars, control lighting and smart home features, check the weather, order food, set reminders and more. The table is available in white or black and retails at 69,900 Kenyan shillings. You can order yours at indiegogo.com. For more tech features, follow us on our social media handles at Metropole TV KE. Yes, there's a new Surface Pro. Yes, there's a new Surface Laptop. But Microsoft just took us by storm with two crazy new devices, the Surface Duo and the Surface Neo. And one of those, at last, is an actual phone from Microsoft. Let's take a look. We've been talking for a long time about Surface Centaurus, a folding book-like, book clamshell-like device. You can see it over my shoulder right here, right now. This is the future. Now, keep in mind, the two products that were unveiled here, the Surface Neo and the Surface Duo, are concepts, prototypes, really. They won't come out until holiday of 2020. But they're a really fascinating glimpse at what the future might hold. I got a little bit of time to play with them before. They feel really solid and substantial in your hands. The Neo is the larger book-like device. That's two 9-inch screens that expand out into a 13.1-inch device. There's also a keyboard, a detachable Bluetooth keyboard, which enables some really interesting functionality. The keyboard magnetically folds, it slips onto the bottom of it, or it sits on top of the screen. And when it sits on top of one of those screens, the remaining portion of that screen becomes a special extra display. Microsoft calls it a Wonder Bar. It's kind of a silly name, but there you have it. The Wonder Bar can enable all sorts of functionality. It's an input device, it's a secondary screen, you can do picture in picture, etc. Kind of cool, right? If you move the keyboard to the top of the screen, so it resembles a much more traditional laptop, a trackpad itself can be created down there. All sorts of functionality depending on where this thing goes. Now this device can fold in half like a book, it can open up to be a more of a tablet size thing. It can fold completely in half, so you've got two screens, more like a traditional tablet. Lots of immersive things can happen when you have all of these different screens. We saw a demo where Microsoft took an app, dragged it onto the seam, and it instantly expanded out to be two screens worth of content. It sounds simple, but think about all the things you can do. Think about your day-to-day -day experience with Microsoft Outlook or whatever mail program you use. Oftentimes, you're flipping back and forth to the calendar. Do I have time to take that interview? Do I remember what I talked about in that previous email? Can I see my whole list of emails all at once? Having a second screen to do that is really transformative and very powerful. The concept of doing two things simultaneously is really what Microsoft is getting at here. And that's why they call it a second class of products. But wait, there's more. There's a duo. Microsoft finally, at last, has come out with a phone. Two 5.6 inch screens that together form a nine inch screen and the exact same experience, folding open and closed to form a tablet, to form a single size device, etc. Now it feels a little heavy in the hand. That's good, it feels substantial I would say. 
when we looked at the new Samsung folding phones, those also feel substantial in your hand. It's almost like having two phones at once. So there is a little bit of extra weight there, but all sorts of extra functionality that are being enabled. Microsoft is releasing their own products, of course, the surface line of things, but we anticipate, because it's a whole new class of products, that lots of other hardware companies will come along for the ride. HP, Asus, traditional companies, etc. These are also phone devices, so they both have LTE involved. So always on connectivity means an awful lot for PCs, but of course for phones, it's a whole new world and a whole new class of devices. Microsoft is going to have to spend some time forming relationships with the Verizons, the uh, telcos of the world in order to sell this kind of device. But anyway, not available until holiday 2020. We're getting a glimpse of the future right here. And if this is the future, I can't wait for tomorrow.